everyone, I have a small yard sale haul to do. I always say small, but then I end up showing some things and rambling, and it's not really all that small after all. But I did find a few things this week. Thursday, when I went yard selling, um, I had to go to I had to go get a pee test done because uh, I am going to start working again. I know some people have asked. Uh, before like how I was doing as far as like job searching and stuff goes and I am going back to work. I'm excited but kind of sad at the same time. It's bittersweet. It's been nice being able to stay home and you know just have things done and be with my dog and I have to keep in her like alone all day. She loves having her mommy around so that was fun but <sighs> gotta go back to work. So I am going back to work and I had to go get a pee test done. But long story short, I was at the pee test place for two hours because I couldn't pee. But so I missed out on some yard sales because it was getting late by the time I was finished because I went first thing in the morning. But I did stop at some and I got a couple things. So I want to show you guys what I got. The first thing I got was a pair of these black leather boots. These are by J. Crew, and these are gorgeous. They'd be perfect for the fall. Unfortunately, they are not my size. They're um, a size eight, and I wear like between a six, six and a half, or seven, just depending on the brand and what kind of shoe it is. But these are too big for me. But these were only a dollar, and I thought that was a great deal because these are beautiful leather boots. I'm sure they cost probably a hundred something um, from J. Crew originally. So I got those for a dollar. I thought that was an amazing deal. Um, next thing I got was a purse, and I don't know anything about this purse other than it feels wonderful and it's made of genuine leather. But it is a black bag and it's by a brand called T-E-X-I-E-R, Texier. And I was trying to look it up and it seems like some of them people have listed for pretty high price. So I think this was a good find for a dollar and it's brand new. They've never used it. But it has this weird, weirdly interesting kind of um, hardware on it here. And it's got a handle that is adjustable and the back is a zipper compartment and it's got some feet on the bottom to protect it. But let me open up this. We have the flap and then the inside opens pretty far and it also has a um, little kind of attached wallet inside. So I just thought this was so nicely made and yeah, for a dollar I just couldn't pass it up. I figured, you know, I just can't for a dollar. That's just a great, great deal. So I got that. Um, I got this Oscar de la Renta gift set. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It seems like it might be, but I don't know. Uh, but this is the Garden in Bloom gift set. I paid $2 for this. It is missing two of the little soaps, but it comes with a lotion, a little miniature perfume, and then the dusting powder. And those pieces are all new. So I got that for $2. Let's see. I got this sweater. It's like a just like something you'd throw over an outfit, like a, you'd throw over like another top or tank top or something like that. But it is um, sleeveless and it's got this nice like black and white geometric print and it's kind of long and angled at the bottom there. But I thought that was really cute. It's by A Buyer and this was a dollar. So I got that, that would be cute for fall. Um, let's see, I got these shoes and these I'm selling as well, but these are also J. Crew. Apparently it was a J. Crew kick at yard sales this week, but these were only 50 cents and I thought that was a really awesome deal. Um, then they have like a little leather 
strip in the back. I thought that was super cute. So I got those for 50 cents. I found a couple of things for my boyfriend. I don't normally find things for him, but there was, um, I found some comic books. He's not like real big into comic books, but they were only 50 cents a piece, and I thought that was a good deal. Um, and so I picked out three that I thought he might be interested in. The first one I got was Hellboy, so I got him that one for 50 cents. And then these were also 50 cents. These are Empire of the Dead, and this is a George Romero comic. And this looks like it's the first one. So I got him that one, and then I got him, this one's the second one. So, got those. They only had these two of that um, series, I guess you'd call it. I don't, I'm not familiar with comic books, but I got him those. And then I got this, and this is a mouse pad by Rob Bobbin, I want to say that's what it says. But this is brand new, it was still in its plastic wrap and this is a very large mouse pad I don't know if it's kind of like a gaming mouse pad but it was only 10 cents so I thought that was a great deal for a um, new mouse pad and I love the print on it so I don't know if we're keeping this or not it is kind of big so I might just sell it because um, it's just a little large but I got it because it was a dime and I figured if he didn't want it then whatever it's not like a waste of money so I got that. Uh, next thing I got, this was super exciting, I found a vintage Sky Dancers toy and this one is kind of like Christmas themed. It's on like a cupcake with Christmas candy and there's Santa Claus on the bottom and the um, candy cane pull string and if you're not familiar with Sky Dancers you pull the string and then her wings lift up and she twirls around the room and it's a very dangerous toy. I think they actually um, stopped making them when shortly after they came out because I think they were like injuring people. Her wings are like a foam material but I can imagine them like hitting things and breaking stuff and all of that jazz but she was 50 cents and I just had to get it because it's it's hard to find sometimes like vintage toys so I pick them up when I see them so I got that um, I got this Chanel wristlet and this was a dollar it's just a white um, wristlet and I do believe this is like um, something that you would have gotten um, like a gift with purchase kind of thing like if you had gotten like a perfume gift set or something that was Chanel so it's not like actually like a really expensive um, bag or anything like that just kind of like a makeup kind of cosmetic kind of gift with purchase thing I believe that's what that is from originally but that was a dollar um, I did get a couple of things for my cousin's kids um, I got three Monster High um, toys and I got a knock knock book uh, joke book for my cousin's kids so I don't have them because I already gave them to my aunt to give to them. But um, I did get this book and this is a vintage book. Let me see what year is this from. This is from, I don't know, it doesn't have a date on it. <laughs> but I had this book when I was little and it's called the Macmillan Picture Word Book. And I paid 25 cents for this. Um, if you watched my last yard sale haul video, I told you guys about how I collect um, vintage children's hardcover books because I love the illustrations and how they smell. Well, this book was kind of like one of the books that got me into that as a kid because I had this when I was a kid and it was one of my favorite books. I loved the illustrations, I loved how the book smelled, I was a sniffer even when I was a kid, um, and you know, it was a hardcover book, which were always my favorite, um, but yeah, I just, this was kind of the book that started it all, so I had to get it, and I seen it at a yard sale like a few years ago, and I didn't buy it, and then I saw it again uh, just the other day, and I was like, you know, it's meant to be, I'm meant to have this book back in my hands, so I got it. And just looking through it, I can just imagine it's, it wasn't even me looking at it. Like, I know I am, like, 
an adult now and everything like that, but when I was looking at it, I could seriously see these pages through the eyes of me when I was a kid because this book was so much fun to look at. Um, like I said, the illustrations are awesome, but every time I would look at it, I would see something different. You know what I mean? Like right here is kind of like a grocery store um, illustration, and you know everything had it was a picture book, so everything had words as to as to like what it was, and there was always and this might be where my obsession with cats came from. I don't know, but there was always. A little hidden cat in like every single um, picture illustration I swear yep like even on the front on the roller coaster there's a cat there was a cat on every single page of the book and that's just awesome so I don't know maybe that's where my obsession with cats came from who knows <laughs> but that's just really funny but um <laughs> look down here we have a cat as a doctor so, yeah, it was just cats, like, everywhere. But, yep, and it still smells the way I remember it, too. So, this is just awesome. Like, I just love this. It just brings back so many wonderful memories of being a kid again. So, I really, really like this book. And I'm sure if you have a kid, they would probably really like this book as well. There's so much to look at in there, and it's, you know, teaching you words and all of that fun stuff too. So I got that for a quarter and then the last thing I got was this and I I had this <laughs> before and I actually made a um I made a YouTube video of me trying out these flavors, taste testing them. Well, flavor testing them. I didn't actually eat the lip balms, but you know. Uh, but this is the Food Truck Yum Yum lip balm set and it comes with uh, five different lip balms. There's hamburger flavor, chocolate milkshake, french fries, popcorn, and pepperoni pizza. I paid a dollar for this and these were absolutely disgusting. I didn't like them but uh, I just had to pick them up because they were only a dollar so I will probably um, sell these since they're brand new. But anyway guys that is my yard sale haul. It wasn't a whole lot this week uh, but yeah, I'm happy with everything that I found though, especially that picture word book. So much fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.